Hello you beautiful people. Today we're back with another 5 players that you should trade away video, post trade deadline edition. So these are guys whose fantasy values I see heavily dropping as a result of some of the trades that were made yesterday, and so I'd recommend trading them away from your fantasy teams. So as always if you enjoy the content feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe so you get notifications for all the future videos, and with that being said let's just get right into the first player on my list. So as always on the channel, we're going to start with the player in the thumbnail, and this week it's going to be Nikola Vucevic. Now, he's the only exception on this list because I don't think there's going to be a drastic dip in his production, but I don't think there's any way he's going to maintain his current output playing with another all-star like Levine. So yeah, he's the only one on this list that I don't think you're losing a lot for keeping him on your roster, but it's just that now that Vuce is no longer the only good player on his team, he's not going to shoulder such a heavy load offensively. So I think this is a great time to trade him because you might be able to get a top 15 guy in return, and I don't think you'll be able to do that after his first few games with the Bulls. And yeah, Vucevic is a great player, don't get me wrong, I, he's the only player on this list that I would be alright with holding on to, but I just think it's a great time to capitalize on his value and get a maximum return for him. But if you wanted to keep him, again, I'm completely okay with that, he's the only one on the list that I just wanted to let you guys know that his value is going to dip a little bit, so if you wanted to capitalize and you really needed to make the playoffs or you wanted to make a big trade in your league, I think it's a great time to move him. And with that being said, let's just move on to the next player. So the second player I want to talk about is the man himself, Thadjik Johnson, Thad Young of the Chicago Bulls. And with the arrival of Nikola Vucevic, I think this probably impacts Thad Young's numbers the most out of anyone on their team. So I think it's just going to affect him because his rebounding chances are going to decrease, his playmaking is going to decrease, and he's been really good this year as a small ball five, don't get me wrong. Like, I would consider Thad Young one of the biggest surprises to me personally in terms of their fantasy production this year. He's been really versatile and he's been a really good player for the Chicago Bulls, but with that being said, he's not going to get as many minutes there because of Vooch at the small ball five spot. And while I, again, I don't think his production will fall off of a cliff just because he's so versatile, I think you should trade him away to get as much value as you possibly can in return for him. Now the third player on our list is actually Evan Fournier. So if you're new to the channel, I am a huge Celtics fan and I'm glad we got this trade pulled off because it didn't cost us too much, but in terms of his fantasy value, Evan Fournier has now just become the fourth or fifth option on the Celtics, fourth being best case scenario. And now that he's no longer competing for shots against like the bums on the Magic, he's now competing for his shot attempts with Tatum, Brown, Kemba, and Smart. And let's just be honest, he's not going to win many of those battles and that's going to result in far fewer field goal attempts. So yeah, he's not going to get nearly as many looks, and he's not going to get as many opportunities to create either. In Orlando, he had a lot more opportunity as a ball handler, but the Celtics just don't really need him to do that. He's probably going to be mainly a catch-and-shoot, knockdown shooter type of role to fill. And yeah, his fantasy production has been impressive so far this year, but I feel like it's going to fall off a cliff with this trade to the Celtics. His 20 points per game this season will probably go down to around 15 points per game, and I definitely recommend trading him now before that happens because once it does, I think you're not going to be able to get as much value for him in return, and you might as well just try to avoid that if you can. So if you made it this far into the video, then I'm going to go ahead and assume you're not a fantasy casual, and if that's the case, I definitely recommend joining the Discord through the link in the description. It's a really great community in there if you want to talk about NBA basketball, fantasy basketball, trade advice, waiver wire, pickups and ads, etc. And yeah, I think you'd really enjoy it, so I definitely recommend checking that out. But with that being said, the next player on our list is Aaron Gordon. So this Aaron Gordon trade to the Nuggets definitely hurts his value, and the thing with Gordon is that he doesn't really contribute anything particularly well to fantasy. He's kind of like an average player in every category. He's a good defender, but he doesn't really record any defensive stats. He's averaging less than a steal and block per game. He's historically been not a very good shooter. But we'll give him some credit. He has been better this season, but we don't know if that's going to maintain itself. And overall, Denver just has a lot of mouths to feed in terms of shot attempts. And I think Gordon falls into a similar role to Fournier as he's now like the fourth or fifth option behind Jamal Murray, Nikola Jokic, MPJ, and maybe even Will Barton. And yeah, I mean, the thing on the Magic, Gordon was asked to do a lot off the dribble. And obviously that wasn't really his game, so he wasn't too great of a player for the Magic. And now he's sort of going to fit into more of like the Paul Millsap type role for the Nuggets. And while that might be good in terms of their how good their team's going to be in real life. In terms of fantasy perspective, I just wouldn't consider Gordon as valuable an asset as he was in Orlando. And for that reason, I just recommend trading him away before people begin to realize that he's not going to be as good as he was in Orlando. And the last player I want to talk about is DeLon Wright. So he was just traded to the Kings. And now that he's not playing point guard anymore, he's going to be behind Halliburton and De'Aaron Fox. I mean, we saw what happened when he didn't play point guard for the Pistons back when they had Rose and Killian Hayes. And he had next to no fantasy value. I would go so far as to say that he's probably going to become a droppable player in 8 to 10, eight to 12 team leagues, but you might as well try to trade him to extract a little bit of value off of him. He's mainly been good for fantasy this year because he was playing 35 plus minutes a game as the lead ball handler and facilitator, and now that he's not going to have the ball in his hands as much, I expect his fantasy value to heavily decrease. He still has some value in category leagues as like a steal specialist, but 
outside of that, I don't really think his fantasy value is that relevant for points leagues especially. And I definitely consider him someone that I would try to trade. And yeah, with that being said, that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped you guys out in terms of knowing what players you should trade away. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day.